Hello, Badger Scared and Survival fans. <laughs> Hello, friends from another universe. <laughs> you can't f***ing turn your back. <laughs> I can't do that. There's no way I can do that. He, started, he started laughing. All right, it's fine. <laughs> you, did, you did the slow wave. Like, then, Pull together, man. All right, here we go. I'm gonna pull a couple cards out. If you don't know, this is Conflicted the Card Game. You can check them out on conflictedthecardgame.com. Comes with some several packs. If you haven't seen our videos, check them out. Check out our review on it. It's pretty fun. Five of clubs. Let's see what we got. Unique opportunity to kill a tyrant has presented itself. However, once the shot is fired and the man is dead, his entourage will surely kill you. Your family is far away in a semi-safe place, but they still need you. Would you sacrifice yourself for the greater good of a community or, and risk your family? Or would you keep your family safe and let the opportunity pass? How would you handle the situation and why? Hmm. Well, I'm going to look at it as a, maybe as like a reconnaissance moment. I could either watch. I mean, I know how bad this tyrant is or what he's doing. But maybe I can gather some recon, reconnaissance, intelligence, kind of figure out what he's doing, his, his equipment, his weaponry, maybe we could build a larger counter force or some sort of plan to escape and evade him. But I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna die for, for somebody else. I don't know. I mean, it depends how bad he is, I guess. But even then, that'd be, I don't think I could pull the trigger knowing I'm gonna die, unless it was, comes down to it, kind of like that Russian guy who called it a bomb, <laughs> a strike on himself, but. I think if I have enough time to establish my shot parameters, I have enough time to evaluate the situation and go from there. So I'm going to say no. I wouldn't think I'd... Because the family would be safe, but they still need me, which is kind of contradictory to each other. I don't know. So I don't know. That's kind of a tough one. But I'm going to say no. Uh, but I will gather intelligence and reconnaissance, and I'll develop, develop plan to counteract any maneuvers he has set forth. Hopefully. Here we go. Three of clubs. It has been five years since the collapse of civilization. Clothes and shoes are in high demand, but extremely short in supply. Everything has already been looted long ago. Materials that could have been used as makeshift clothing and shoes are nowhere to be found. In your immediate surroundings, clothes and shoes aren't available for bartering. Your only hope to clothe your family and protect them from the winter would be either steal from others or to peel the clothes off corpses and risk being affected by this disease. Okay, well, real quick. Disease does not live outside the body after the body's been dead. Easy enough. There's, yeah. If it's been five years and there's corpses laying around, there's no, no, no risk of infection. So, yeah. I am going to peel the clothes off people's body and wear them. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Like I said, check out conflictedthecardgame.com. Some great decks over there, numerous decks to get you started. And, and you can play with them. They're actually suited and stuff, so you can actually play cards. You got any other suggestions for what your the first answer? I mean, the second one was kind of easy, but that Tyrant one was kind of, that's back and forth. Maybe you would, maybe you won't. There's a little bit of contradiction on the card. But like I said, everyone has their own opinion. Go ahead and drop it down in the comments below. Go to check us out on Facebook. We have our own page, too. Check that out. Pretty awesome. And until next time, make yourself ready. Oh, <laughs>